the first one I bought was a John Deere and the last two were John Deere, so that probably says something. <laughs> Little John Deere 950. Well, that was a, just the first tractor I bought, probably just after I got a license. Because when I started working at the Piggery and Oakey there, um, that little grey diesel Fergie, that was the tractor there. And it was a bit long in the tooth back then. And Dad had been into Vanderfields because he'd bought a 95 round back. John Deere had a second hand there. And Dad said, oh, they had these little 30 horse Johnnies in there. And he said, I should buy one of them. That'd be good to replace the Fergie. And so anyway, I basically went and bought it. And um, I've had it ever since. I wouldn't part with it. Because it's just, just perfect for, you know, just what we do with the hay work. And uh, it's been updated since then. I've got a newer one now, but yeah, it's, it's just good for what I do. Oh, it, it's just ideal for the job. And it's amazing what that little thing will pull. People sort of laugh, how do you do that? But it's a John Deere, what do you expect? <laughs> like all the experience I've had with all the other makes and models and so on, when it all comes down to it, you put the whole package together, like the the actual machine, what it can do, the the price, the service, the deals, the parts. I wouldn't buy anything else but a John Deere now, because all the other ones, you know, you have little issues with everything else. You know, if I can go and buy a, a vision glass for the um, the little 950 after about 35 years and still Vanderfield can still get me the vision glass for the fuel gauge. That says a lot. When I bought it, the 950, yeah, it was $7,000 new. And anyway, they, um, because it was a no trade deal, they gave it to me for $6,400. I thought, well, this is good. And anyway, um, so I bought the thing and a few weeks later, I get this check in the mail for 500 bucks. And apparently John Deere had this scheme going, $500 cash back on any new tractor sold. And well, this is even better, I got a new tractor for $5,900. And um, anyway, when I bought the second last John Deere, I said to the um, salesman, I said, I got this little 950 of them, don't know whether I want to trade it or not. And he looks at me and said, I'll give you six grand for it. This is good, I'll make a hundred bucks on it. But I didn't sell it, I kept it. It's just too good for what it does. Like it, it doesn't do the work that it used to now since I got one of the, the later ones, like a 50 horse, 55 horse, but I still wouldn't sell it because it's still, you know, it still does a few jobs around the place. It's just handy. So not going to part with it. You've got to have something for your clearance over. If you look after them, they'll go forever. It's how, it's how you treat them. Like I've never blown a tractor up. Like, you know, I got enough of them here, but I've never blown one up. Like, you know, totally wrecked it. But you, you just got to look after them. But, but the, the thing with John Deere is, is, you know, if you do need any bits and pieces, they're just in town there and you know you can get it. Because all the other, you know, all the other tractor companies, they just, they have issues and change of ownership. But, but yeah, they, like mechanically, these new ones, are, yeah, you can't fold them. Well, you, you, and if you haven't got anything that's reliable, you, you're buggered. With hay work anyway, because you've only really got for raking and bathing, you've only really got an hour. Otherwise, it's too wet or too dry. It's just not right. So if you want to make really good hay, you've only really got an hour to do it in. And if the gear's not reliable, you forget it. You, you know, it's got to go when you've got to go. Like if, if you've got to, you know, ground to plough or something like that, and something goes wrong, or you need an oil filter or something, you know, and it's got to be ordered in or something. Well, it doesn't matter if you're a day or two late, but hey, it's got to be on the hour when it's got to go. You got, you know, it's just got to go. This one, since I bought the little Johnny, that little 950. The coat's in the cupboard there. So the, the wife doesn't like me wearing it though because you reckon it's too gaudy or something. I got all the gear, yeah, so. Actually, in a few years' time, that might be worth something. Hey, the gear will probably be worth more than the tractor.